Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech back with another video. I do apologize for the late upload. I definitely have some great content lined up for this month. I will be purchasing the new iPad Pro, supposedly releasing this month and doing performance tests as usual. I'd also like to thank all of my subscribers for supporting my channel. I am super grateful and therefore will be soon doing a free phone giveaway. Make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for this. Last, as another way of thanking all of you, I will also start randomly providing shoutouts and linking the content creators that subbed in the description below. Let's all grow together. With that being said, in this video, we will be reviewing the latest Samsung update for the S21 series. This update was released March 1st and tailored around improving the camera and device performance. For this video, we will be focusing on the latter and seeing just how much the performance has increased for the S21 and this latest update. As many of you know, this device that I have is the Snapdragon 888 variant. Taking this into consideration, let's start with the GPU performance. Again, GPU, meaning graphics processing unit, which is designed to handle any graphics operation in your smartphone. For instance, games, computational photography, and so forth. Based on my testing and using 3 d Mark wildlife stress tests, initially, it seems for peak GPU performance, we are seeing roughly only a 2% increase if we compare the best loop scores. As for the lowest loop scores, improvement is minimum to none. However, here is where things get very interesting. This GPU test is for 20 minutes and every minute a GPU score is recorded. If we look at these graphs, we can clearly see that there is more to the story as it pertains to sustained performance. It appears in these graphs that the GPU is able to sustain peak performance almost double in time before dropping to the lowest loop score with the latest update. In the prior update, GPU performance begins to drop at 5 minutes, while in the latest update, we can see performance beginning to drop around 9 minutes. Overall, after calculating all 20 loop scores, we are getting roughly around 13% improvement and overall GPU performance due to better sustained performance. This is a great improvement for the S21 series. Now for CPU, which is responsible for running all the logic and operations required by the operating system and apps, I use Geekbench 5 as my measurement tool. Based on results, the improvement is minimum to none in single core performance and around a 5% improvement increase for multi-core performance. Therefore, you'll notice very small performance gains when using basic apps. All in all, with this update, it appears S21 users will indeed experience performance improvements. While the CPU performance improvement is minimum, it seems GPU performance gains are big. I can't wait to do additional testing using processor-heavy games to further test and quantify the performance improvements in the latest update for the S21 series. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please help support this channel by subscribing and liking this video. For those subscribed, stay tuned for more details on the free phone giveaway. I hope you have a great day and see you next time.